G'day everybody and welcome back for some more assertive acquisitions inside Capax Rounded Med Bay. Let's uh, get the guys out since I think they're locked up there. And Capac? TFE? Oh. No? Oh, TFE's here. Um. Capac? Uh, I think he's in this one. I think that's what the green means. Wait, no, this I one's still green. This one's blue. Is he in this one? He might be, but I can't see. Maybe that's... I reckon this is why he chose to use these ones, so that we can't tell whether he's awake or asleep or whatever in there. I'll see if he's just ignoring us. Yeah. Well, if he's ignoring us, let's ignore him. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Speaking of uh, out of sight and out of mind... What's your plan with your ship? Uh, where was the ship again? I don't know. I don't remember where you... Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Um, I think it's putting a whole load of guns on the cargo containers. Oh, yeah? You've got four Gatlings on there. And you've got a big landing gear on the bottom so you can slap it on the asteroid. Yeah. Were you planning on putting any, like, uh, assault or art artillery on there? Oh. Didn't realize the interior turret was holding up the whole thing. Crushed myself. <laughs> oh. Um. Maybe put some bigger guns on it. I was just thinking because that way this is potential. Like, because this thing's got at least a little more resilience than, you know, just the little feet things and Capax little yeah. decoys. <clears throat> Capax little things. Uh. Before I do any work on the Skywarp, I was actually going to build an upgraded version of Capax Limpets. What, like a large grid version? No, small grid. Still small grid, still... I might actually go, just to be different, and just because I, I like the sound of it, I might actually go with um, assault. Not assault. Um, auto cannon. So, yeah. They've got 800 range as well, don't they? They do, they do. So the main thing that I was going to change from his design to upgrade it was I was going to put an event controller to tell us when it's low on power or low on um, ammo. Let's have it like start broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. And have two beacons on it, one that says low ammo, one that says low power. Hmm. Uh, so I thought I might work on that. And then That's maybe good. I'll build a little vehicle to print it from, because I was also going to put a small connector on there so that it can automatically load it up with ammo. I thought that'd be helpful too. As opposed to my manual loading method for my foot. <laughs> I think for your foot, it makes sense to manually load because adding all those extra bits yeah. in large grid gets really annoying. Mm. Also, why did we build a welder wall when you already had the Marlins one? Um, why didn't you mention that? Of all the three of us who here. should have remembered that that was there, it should have been you. Probably. I knew it was there, I just... I wonder how much we missed it just because you had the doors closed. Potentially. <laughs> so we all forgot. Uh, part of the reason I'm thinking of uh, improving the limpet design is that I feel like my caltrops are going to take so much work to set up and have working that I'd much rather get more guns out there first. Inventory full. <laughs> I just went... I just got to this point where I'm like, I have done this in the wrong way. I should do the easier things first. Then we can mess with the other stuff. Translation. Never end up doing the other stuff. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Entirely possible. Do I use uh -oh. the... What's uh, up? No, uh, it's fine. Why am I hearing donking? Yeah, I split part of the thing I was disassembling. Luckily, it fell over very slowly. What was it you... Split? Where even, where even are you? Oh... Well, Oh, you split something in the side of the marlin. <laughs> I see. I'll try and keep this roughly to the form factor that Kavak was messing with. I think it was a good size to work from. Anything too much bigger and I think I'm going over top. Ooh. If I use a sorter, is that going to make this simpler? Because I won't need to worry about using Izzy's to put stuff in. Until the sorter decides to put up a fight like they often do. What do you mean? I was thinking more with gases being weird. 
Oh, no. So, because all I was thinking is, it doesn't have to pull much across the sorter. Whoa, what the heck? All it has ah, to do happening? is grab as much ammo as it can into the connector and into everything else. Ah, why is the ship freaking out? Whoa! What ship oh, is freaking geez. out? It's either freaking out or my game's freaking out. It's teleporting all over the place and now it's stationary again. The, yeah, the mullet's fine by, for me. No, the uh, ship I captured. Oh. Not now. The tiny fish. Yeah, for me, it slightly phased into the asteroid and then started freaking out, but now it's fine Can again. I make a suggestion to you? Lock the yeah. landing gear down? She's currently sitting there hovering. Uh, now the data's are off, it's resting on the ground. It is? Yeah. There's a mag plate, it's not. A one? Um. No landing gear, no the mag The landing plate. gear is not locked down. What landing gear? I don't see one. TV. Oh, yours was the Big Ben. Yes. The, oh. <laughs> to this one. Capax is the one that's hovering. Capax is the tiny fish. Yes. Oh, okay. okay this all makes so much more sense now. We probably do need to fix that. <laughs> they wanted to run out of power or something. Yeah, I can't remember how to get into the cockpit. It's down somewhere. Oh, it's still got oh, it's the evil... It's still got the evil remote control on board? Yeah, he somehow managed to not blow it up. Uh, how? I don't know. He ground it down and it exploded, but it's it's not... Like, it's owned by him, the AI control module. Hmm. It's very strange. As long as Catholic doesn't start summoning a cert drone to his location. There we go. It's locked down now. Reversing thrusters. I mean, so he needs enough thrust to be able to fly and then land on the... Yeah. You don't need to uh, add really extra thrusters to it at all. Alright, I'm doing this with a sorter. Why not? It means it should work even without Izzy's, which means I don't have to put Izzy's script onto the welder ship. Well, that's... Yeah. A, yes, that's actually a really good reason to do that. Because yeah, otherwise I'd have to run the script on the little... whatever's building it. Hmm, hydrogen tank. What could go wrong? What's getting a hydrogen I mean, tank? I mean, the Foggy Ben's got a hydrogen tank aboard and kind of tricky to remove it without spilling a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, well, I guess if it detonates, then it might take out something trying to ram it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll... Yeah, uh, whatever. It'll be spectacular. All right, so I just really need an event controller for the status of the ammo and status of power, right? Can you think of anything else that I'd, I'd need one for? I think so. So an event controller for each of those and then a defense controller for making it shoot at 800 meters and then as many batteries as I can fit around it and a merge block so that I can connect and print it. Easy. Oh, I've got 1,488 kilograms of scrap. Hoarding. It's a problem, TFE. Need to work on it. Mean to. <laughs> can you think of anything else that this thing needs? Beacon, you've got batteries. Fence block. Nectar. I'm guessing you got one of these as a programmable block somewhere. Oh, why a programmable block? Oh, right. You're using the script on the station. Uh, no, not using any script. Oh. Why would Are you I... talking about. Oh, you're just hand logging this. No, sorta. Of. No? Yeah. I've got a sort of. I understand now. <laughs> Uh, shouldn't need to broadcast more than 2Ks when these are on. Um, so I've got power. I've got three small cargo containers for ammo. I've got... Plus the turret itself. I could probably add an extra... Cargo container, actually. In between the sorter and the turret. Um, I need to add a merge block. That is something it needs. Hmm. Let's see, I must say, you're looking very purple at the moment. Yeah, this light really does. Yeah, like, uh, like look up on the other side of the tube. <laughs> Enjoys being grey. I take on all the colours around me. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, can turrets could be nice middle ground because I figure my artillery. Very long to reload and the ammo is quite expensive. Yeah, I think assault's a good middle ground and packs enough of a punch that it. It's the sort of weapon that. Because uh, assault's. 1.4k's range? Yeah. Yeah. So it's. Two kilometer ones don't hit much, it seems like. 
Well, no, they hit the big targets, but I, I figure at least if you've got the um, got the assaults, you'll hit some stuff, even if you don't hit like the the heaviest targets with the heaviest things. At least we'll hit more stuff more heavily. Because the main goal is to be able to say if a demos arrives, it gets pounded by our static defenses without us having to intervene. Well, which I think will make a big difference to how any of those <laughs> little episodes of combat actually go. Fully expecting this thing to just get instantly annihilated if something actually shoots at it. Optimism. Yeah, but the idea is that this thing could get destroyed and that's fine because there are three more within range. Alright, let me check how long this power is expected to last for, even with the things broadcasting. Batteries will last for one day. Or two days with the beacons off. I feel like 48 hours is pretty good time, considering how likely these are to get destroyed, but I think I'll add a couple more batteries anyway. I'll just cover the thing with batteries. What's the harm? These little batteries aren't that expensive anyway. Now what are the small batteries saying? Five days, yeah, that is plenty. That is absolutely plenty. If it survives that long, it Five deserves to power down. 120 hours? Yep. So I probably don't need a power event controller, but... Oh well. I mean, if the grid's depowered... Oh, it's low power, right? Yeah, I was thinking low. Yeah, if it's depowered, it's not going to be able to do much of anything. <laughs> no. Sword power equal or less than 10%. No Any of the batteries. Uh, uh, Speaking of power, I need some. Uh, um, what am I going to name this thing? I kind of want to call it the Hive. Because it's really... Um, all the glowing. Yeah, the glowing hexagonal pattern. But also because it's... One of these alone is useless. It needs to be in a collection of a whole bunch of them for them to be useful. Mm. There you go. It's ready to go. Now I can blueprint it. Ready for launch. And I will then build a really basic carrier ship to print these off from. Oh, wait, no, I haven't set it up properly. I haven't set up the sorter. Even with these ships and things, we just put enough ammo to build the each turret. Um, yeah, probably go. some ammo in the cargo containers would be a good idea. It won't be how easy they get destroyed. Well, the right, maybe thing maybe we is have... that those types of heavier turrets don't really hold much ammo compared to how much they fire out. Like, it's not very many shots, is what I'm trying to say. The extra mean I'm going to leave idle off, so it'll look like it's disarmed from a distance. <laughs> Actually, no, if I wanted to do that, I'd put the um, damaged hydrogen thruster underneath it. Yeah, the other thing you could do if you wanted to actually make them look powered down is set an event controller to the defense block, or set the defense block to power everything up. Once it gets mm -hmm. a lock. I also have like the lights and everything off and they turn on. <laughs> yeah, and it all powers up as it gets in range and just opens up. All of a sudden. But I honestly don't think it's going to matter. Everyone knows, well, clearly the people who are attacking us know we're here. And we've done enough war crimes already. <laughs> so, I don't think, I don't think we can really hide. This totally unarmed ship just ignores the giant guns. Yeah. I was thinking this construction would be a little bit quicker than it's been, but it hasn't really taken me that long to put this together. That's always good. Rather than something taking much longer than expected. Yeah, it's only a little bit longer than I'd hoped. Because I really did want to get back to working on the stuff I was doing on the Skywalk, but... I was also in a bit where I like, I kind of need some time to step away from this, because I'm struggling to think of what to do next with it. Hmm, well, unless I want to add some more armor or fix up some of the broken bits... Oh, if we want to get the assert large grid thrusters off it. Yeah, that's what you should probably focus on next. Get them off it. And, um, we probably want to make a little collection somewhere on the base. For them all to be. Like, somewhere in this hangar. Should probably have a whole bunch of... In the room or something. Well, I... Or just another section of your flooring. Oh yeah, there's plenty of space. Because <laughs> if you set up your set up an area on your floor where you just attach them with merge blocks like we'd done to the bottom of the skywarp because then you could take the ones off the skywarp as well. Hmm. 
But if I'm making myself a little printer vehicle, you could probably make yourself a little shunter vehicle. To move this stuff around. Well, because then Kavak doesn't have to use his thing all the time. Oh, the, um... Green machine. The quantum green machine, by the way, it vibrates sometimes. <laughs> Can't believe I've let you pick my colour scheme for this. What? I just picked up the colour off the floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting decision. Yeah, I figured... Um, it, I figured it'd be actually more helpful to us for us to know exactly where we've placed these things than it would be harmful for the things we've placed for the enemy to be able to spot. You're worried. We'll panic and think someone on the asteroid shooting at us. No, I was more thinking that if I can see the ones that are there, it means I'm more easily able to spread them out and get proper coverage. At least that was what I was thinking at the time. I was like... I feel like it makes more sense for us to know where each one is and be able to be certain of that than it did for us to try and do... Hide them. Yeah, because, let's be honest, hiding does not work. No. That's pretty smart. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, lights. Lights would be good. Keep getting so many... Keep forgetting things. There's your checklist on a LCD or something. Yeah. I figure this many years in, if I haven't built, started using a checklist, I'm probably not ever gonna. Oh, a bit. Whoa, my gyros are too powerful. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, um, Bulky Boyan is ready to take its position. Cool. In the base. And the hive uh, is ready to grow as well. I want to call it. I want to call this thing. It's originally called the Bulky Ben. I'll keep the name, at least part of it. The Brawny Barry? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure how you were going to take me su suggesting that. I figured the alliteration was the main part of the name, really. Oops. What dangly drill is still stuck there on the moon on its own? Oh yeah, I probably should collect some gold today. Oh yeah, we found a trade station, didn't we? That's what happened last time. Yeah, we did. I mean, I guess that puts us in a spot where we go, do we go mine some gold or do we go and try and capture some ships and sell them and see if we can buy stuff that has gold or buy thruster components? Mm. Wait, so we want to capture ships so we can add them to the asteroid? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough. We've got actually two things we want to do with them. With all the resources in the world and simultaneously not enough. All right. So, my hive printer ship is ready to go. The hive itself should have ammo in it. Yep. Cargo containers are full. Turret is full. So I can go dot ditch this one, which I can just quickly Why is, set this to auto. Why is this little ship reminding me of um, the things they use on ice hockey arenas to do the floor, but like a Zamboni? Up. Yeah. Yeah, I can kind of see where you're coming from with that. I'm interested to see how quickly I can pop some of these out. So where did you end up parking your ship? Um, it's near the me turret that has the spotlight on it. Oh, the, should, uh, I put should I put a searchlight on this thing? Searchlight. At some point I will get the name correct. But should I put a searchlight on these turrets? Eventually. I mean, it does look cool. Because then we'd have a whole bunch of searchlights out there pointing at people. But it will use up their power more quickly. I'm surprised you haven't tried to build one out there that's got a, a sound block on it that gives us a warning. Mm. In fact, that's probably not a bad idea. You want to have a whole bunch of them all going off at the same time? Well, no, I was just thinking that, that the large grid ships out there, one facing in each direction has the warning on it. Hmm. Because if we can do that, then we have the possibility of having a whole bunch of um, early warning that's vocal. You know what's so going to happen? We're, We're going to end up putting the all these defenses the down. And they're going to attack from the underside. No, they're not going to attack at all because they're going to be like, well, we've scared them off now. They're not going to do anything. We don't need to worry about them. We'll just ignore them. And I guess we haven't really been attacked from the underside yet, have we? That is the more difficult way to attack us. Yeah. And I can print these things off pretty quickly. Look at the little glowy orange bits out this way. Hmm. So I've already put three of them down. Are you? About to place the fourth. Alright, so I can 
that's... I've, like, I've just literally placed, placed down five of them. That took, what, like, five minutes? Yeah, if that. We'll place a hundred of them. <laughs> well, I'll get distracted by other things, but I thought at least I could do five at each end of the tunnel. And that's an extra five guns shooting. That mm. really doesn't... Like... Considering the number of guns we typically go into a fight with, an extra five Oof. adds up. Like, it matters. This sparks over here by the ramp. I mean, the ramp. Not even lined up anymore, is it? Um. It got kind of blown up. Um. Well, if you got the Doratron off the front of the Skywarp, we could probably line things up. Properly. Like, actually probably. line stuff up to the to the base so that the Skywarp is flush and horizontal. Mm. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'd have to maneuver the Doratron somehow to be to the welders on the marlin right. yeah or the little welder wall would probably at least get you somewhere or expand the little welder wall make a new one add welders everywhere what's the worst Entire that could happen the floor out of welders weld a new sky wall all the, the walls. floor is welders yes it basically is lava at that point <laughs> yeah it works on multiple levels Nope, the haunted door on the H-tram is still haunted. It persists. <laughs> how? It's, how many saves have we been through? <laughs> uh, that's just the best thing ever. Oh yeah, we got some good defenses going on on the outside of the asteroid now. I think if they manage to get through our defenses now, we're kind of left with only one option, which is to run. Like, Let's they may destroy fly, some of what we've got. Fly the sky warp out and just crash through them. Yeah, blockade running with the Skywalk. That seems uh, ill-advised. But yeah, I, I feel like... Sure, we might take some serious damage to our defenses and have to repair them. But we shouldn't get the absolute shellacking that we've had on the other previous times you guys have been attacked. Mm. Um, with all this. And if we do... We're just outclassed. To such a dramatic extent that... I, I don't know what to do. Uh, ask them nicely to go away. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much that's what we're left with. I mean, it hasn't worked yet, but... I mean, for all we know, they've been after Kapak this whole time. They don't really care about us two. Uh, oh, I think Kapak put this satellite out there just beyond gravity. The one that he just dropped into the atmosphere the first time. <laughs> yeah, that one. Feels a bit silly to have built a purpose-built craft for this, but it was so quick to put together and it's been so effective. And any time I want to, I can now just go and put five more of these out. Oops. Clonk. <laughs> so we got to destroy it while trying to park it. Cool. All right. Now, back to the Skywarps reactor core sort of area. Kapak has put an LCD panel in my, on the behind my reactor area that says frogs and has a picture of Shodan on it. What? Where is this? I need to see this. I don't know why it says frogs. Wait, the reactor room? Yeah, head to the reactor area. What? Why is Shodan in here with a... With... I mean, I know why he put Shodan there, because I said I was going to make this the computer core. But why has he put frogs on it? <laughs> have I lost the reactor room? Tiffy, that was the one place you said you knew how to get to. That's why you changed everything in here. The reactors haven't moved. Well... I'm here. Why does it say frogs? I don't know! Also, when did he put it there? Hmm... Has he actually been awake and doing stuff this whole time and he's just not talking to us? Was he upset because I got annoyed at him last time? Time to work on this space. Oh, and probably time to weld up these jar- these, um... Jump drives. Uh, Malt? Whoa! Uh, the, the, the gas oh, there is and the what's that skip? There's a bunch of stuff over there, apparently. Oh, wait! Did they just pirate that skippy? Uh, possible. What's the ghast? Um, why are Minecraft mobs here? <laughs> Slightly worrying. <laughs> Well, I can I can put together what the skip is because I reckon it I reckon they've yeah. captured a skippy because they do seem to put twists on the names of the ships that they capture, but I can't work out what the ghast is. The nat? Bigger? Maybe. Look like they're heading this way, although they're a lot closer than they were before. Yeah. 
I guess if they get close, we fight them and see if they'll come up against our defenses. Because if they start chasing us back, then we just let them come back. Mm. See how our defenses hold up against them. Wait, all this time we've only found four engineer plushies and one Sabroid plushie. Now we're all probably cat back. Oh no, we would have found uh, a few of them on the ships. I think one of them was... Wasn't one of them like very early on on the moon we found a... Plushie yeah, one of the I did find something. a few actually in one of the bases. Uh oh, the, ah, the ARC ships are coming in Oh jeez, they're right here. Okay, heading to the um, frenzy. I'm getting on the page tram. <laughs> I'm actually going to head out the opposite direction, I think. Yep. No, I'm not. They are so close. We don't have time for those games. What is that coming in? Is that a missile? Oh! <laughs> that is so much fire, but it's still going to hit something. I think it's a miss. Might have hit the asteroid. Maybe. What is that? Pink thing. That's... Is that the ghast? No. No. Yeah, the Caligo or whatever it is is very small. Oh, is that small grid? Is this a fighter? Oh, missed. <laughs> oh, that's got to hurt. That has got to hurt. I am so glad I put those extra guns out. That is dead. Yeah. That has nothing left. <laughs> In full retreat. Assuming they still have control. Are they leaving us alone? I don't know. Are they just sitting back and firing missiles at us? Maybe. Oh, I think Wait, there's another missile. Wait, what's this Is it a missile? Is it a fighter? Wait. Is one 2.6 kilometers behind us? There's one oh, 700 the one k meters away. One that's, I think, crashed into the asteroid. What is that? Is Reverse that... engineer this technology. Is that a missile? More? That's more than a missile. Looks like it could be a drone of some sort. It's got reactors on it. Um. Oh, what's coming in? Something's closing. There's more oh, of there's them. A, they launched another one. These are drones. I think. Uh oh. Yeah, we'll have to try and... They're, they're powered by reactors, so we'll have to get uh, their ammo, get their uranium later. It looks like that one's heading for the planet. It's heading below us. Where's it going? I don't know. Is it dumb? It's very close to me now, though. It's yeah, 900. It Whoa, it's got oh. railguns. What? Oh no, I'm gonna have to intercept the other one that's coming in. Oh, there's more! There's a whole Where bunch of have? them. Um, oh boy. But what we want to make sure we do is stay close and hug the asteroid. Don't yeah. go too far away because all of our firepower is at the asteroid. Ooh. Oh, that one's getting punished. Oh, there are more railguns coming in. I see why they're all reacting now. That makes a lot more sense. We need our own, like, railgun turret or something. <laughs> oh, TFE, we've got some Doom Voxels we can use. What? We've got some baby asteroids off the side of our asteroid we can use to strap turrets to. Oh. Ah! One of the ones that was dead is now flying around again. <laughs> Thinking. Oh, wait, the other one's incoming. Sorry. Oh man, our turrets are doing work. One of your feet is smacking this thing, and same with your ship. Yeah. Brawny Barry's oh. doing things. Oh yeah, Capex satellites out there, it's just not in the best position for where these are attacking from. Okay, the, the defenses are proving functional. This is great. We probably need to keep upping them, because I feel like they're not I need smacking to it. ammo they've got left. Well, nothing's reporting low ammo of the things I've placed yet, so that's something. Whoa, are these ones back? I can't believe they sent drones against us. I've never had to fight drones from Ark before. 
Whoa, 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 what's shooting at me? Oh, that Cleo's shooting at me. I know, we're still playing down here. Wow. There's still a live Cleo near the, near the asteroid yeah, yeah. tippy. Yeah. No. What a door. And the other side. Oh, it just smacked into the asteroid. Alright. I guess I gotta do this. What are you doing? I'm just gonna do a quick run on the ghast and see what it is. Oh, okay. Oh, we feel the hate tram then. Like, I, I don't want to get in a fight, but I kind of want to see if they'll chase me back to the asteroid. I wonder how automated those players were. Like, were they remote piloted? And so they know exactly what they just faced? Or were they automated and they think they've helped, they've dealt with this? Oh yeah, what's that skip? Is definitely the skippy. Demos as ever. Unstuck pile. What have you got, Ghast? What can I hit you with? Can I do anything meaningful to you? There are two, there are two Dolph star beams here as well. Uh, what's that skip has been fitted with dual large grid rail guns? What? Yeah. That's not reassuring. Oh, I see engineers moving around. Even less reassuring. Star beams are active. Moving. Oh, I'm refueled up. I may have to join you. Yep. Star beams fighting. How oh, the stupid door. Starbeams did not like me arriving. Let's see what they do. Might make a run for it. Ow. I think I'm out of range. I'm gonna go to the far side of the asteroid and I'm returning. There's yep. not much I can do to them. There are too many of them, and too few of us. But maybe that'll have inspired them to leave or attack us. One of the two. What are you up to, TFP? Oh, uh, you're, you've got the h um, there. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't go out to them. Those, them there's a falling. Dolph. There's Dolph coming in. Yeah. You can probably try and take it on. As long as we stay clear of everything else. Off is inbound. Oh, that's rockets. Yep. Oh, geez. It's out of range. Just remember to keep tight to the asteroid if you can. Yeah. Draw it into the fire of our turrets. See if we can do this. Oh, yep. Turrets are firing. Oh, what, the other one? One of them is trying to break off. I think they both might be. Maybe they know what we're trying to do. So they don't seem to be coming in too close. I reckon their other things were fully automated. Mm. These are showing a bit more uh, caution. And I think I saw an engineer get oh, it. Oh, they come back in. Yep, seen. Oh. Ah, the big ship's taking a battering. That's right, that's what it's there for. Oh, I lost my lock at such an unfortunate time. That star beam just took battering. I think we got one of them down. I hope the hide, one of the hides is low on ammo. Oh good, it's working. That Dolph's dead. I think my railgun was unnecessary, but it felt good. <laughs> and the other one appears to be in full retreat. Good. Do I go annoy the missile cruiser again and see what happens? Uh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> what, you don't want it coming in against us? I mean, we'd probably win, but... I just... While they're sitting there, just... They're just so close. What the... Oh, there's an engineer out here. What? The the Dolph pilot. The Dolph pilot's free. Small arms fire being shot my way. Oh yeah, I see them. Wait, all the turrets are firing at. I mean, this is what the turrets are for, isn't it? Really? Ah, it's trying me. The turrets aren't firing. Oh, they're off. I'm really stupid. Anyway. <laughs> 
Oh, I think we got them. Nice. No? thought for a Can't second tell. you might have even run them down then. A little bit of we vehicular I manslaughter. Think, I think I saw their backpack go one way, their body go the other way. Oh, there's the other dolls here. Ah, don't know. I'm getting broadsided. Whoa. Jeez. Close. Ah, uh, retreat to the far side of the asteroid. I'm battered. Oh, yeah. That was a hit. That was a railgun blast. Just at the right time, too. Damn. It's just it's spinning and shooting like crazy. I think I might have got its gyros. see reactor smoke. I can see an engineer. I think I shot him. Yep, dead yes. pink engineer. I'm watching to oh no, I'm picking up a target. Yeah, that's the rest of the dolph. The pilot's gone. It's going down. No, I'm set to target weapons. Shooting at. Yeah, it might have had a warhead or something in it. Oh maybe. Oh, I'm so glad I got that hit with the <laughs> rail guns. <laughs> it just Every time I hit one of their fighters with the railgun, it just spins it so much that they can't get a beat on me then. Mm. And they, their turrets had a really good beat on me, then I hit them with the railguns, and I must have got their gyros because they just kept spinning. Alright, I'm going to try and hit the what's that skip. See if I can hit its railguns. If, if I can get a plink on it, then I think oh, we let's go. might scare them off, maybe? Just got to get them to back off. The gas is closer, so I'm probably going to shoot it. Oh, no, the skip's moving. Is the skip closing on me? Oh, I think the skip's going to try and have a go at me with its rail guns. Oh, looks oh. like they're both closing in. Can it hit me when I'm this little? Yeah, I, I think this is on for young and old, TV. Yep, the gas is coming in as well. <laughs> The skip is covered in Gatling turrets. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, that was a shot the turret off hit. Good one. Oh, I think the missile cruisers. Uh, still so. Flames come across my uh, camera, it's really sun's upset. In the way. Whoa. Was that anywhere near you? Or were you actually quite close? Gas is blending in really well with the sun. Yeah, it's bright white, isn't it? Oh, I think I'm about to get a railgun blast. Oh. It copped another hit from me. Ah, so much Ooh, fire. there's another hit. Can't see. Too much fire. What are you, are you shooting the ghast? Yeah, they seem to be okay. having, struggling to turn and engage me. Oh, I just shot out some of its cockpit. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, the turrets are on you, not on me. That was lucky yep. for me. Ooh, that was an attempted rail. Out the ghast, is that the asteroid? Oh. Oh, we should get back. Yeah. It's being shot at. It's past the asteroids turning around. I'm just piling all my railgun blasts into the skippy, hoping to take out something critical on the inside. Oh, yep, the ghast is making a low attitude bombing run. Oh. They actually pasted. Oh, brilliant. I'm so glad I put those extra guns out. <laughs> oh. Skippy, the, the skip took a few shots at your foot. Oh, that gas is real close. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh. Please. Don't hit the skippy. Come on, that's got to have hit the cockpit. That sounds like hand cannon fire. Oh. I mean rifle fire. Oh, I've got so little situational... You've got an engineer chasing me. Awareness. 
Um, yeah. Hug the hug the asteroid if you can. Yeah. That's gonna be your best bet against any engineer. Because they are not gonna know where all those turrets are coming from. Oh no. I've only got 33% fuel left. Oh. Is that an engineer? That looks like an engineer. Outside the skippy. You have to refuel. I see that engineer, but I can't hit him. I can't even hit the skip. Ow, 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 ow. That Gatling is nailing me. The Gatling is doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I've lost a reverse thrust. Is the skip going down? Uh, I think it is, yeah. Ow! What the... Ah! I just had a grunt. What? Outside my ship. I think I just ran it. I think I just squashed an engineer. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oi, go away. Out here whacking people. Fun in a tight circle firing my guns. <laughs> <laughs> There's just the Demos hanging around. Surely it's gonna and leave the soon. The gas is still here. Oh, is it? Oh, oh it's not moving. Oh, we might actually be able to capture it. I'm gonna take the frenzy and park it, and then I'll head out on foot to the gas. Oh no, it's two k's out from our base. Oh, it's still moving slightly. Nope. Oh, I think it just bugged out. Yeah, I think it's bugged out. Do I cause glorious explosion, or do we try and capture this thing? Capture it and add it to our um, asteroid defense force. It has a live turret on it that I'm trying to handle. Yeah. But this thing's got a full jump drive that's fully charged, so it's still intact. But I think it might have lost its gyro. Because it's constantly spinning. Oh, that time. Alright, let's see what I can do. I have locked onto it. Uh, TV, you want to come out here with a helm? Parts for a helm? Um. If you're, because you're closer to the asteroid than I am, I'm not locked. This. 500 meters away. Um. But yeah, if you if you go park that, I think we've captured this. Yeah. Because it's got just enough hydrogen thrust that it's keeping itself from crashing down to the planet. If we can get a helm on it and then get a gyro on it, we can take this thing over. Ooh. Success. Yeah, to an extent. Uh, okay. I am definitely going to steal these superconductor components from this jump drive because I ran out trying to build the jump drives on the Skyhawk. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a nice hole. There you go. Can you control it? Uh, like, are, you able no. to, are you able to use the thrusters at all? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I have no turning capability. No, you do not. So what I thought we could do is get ourselves relatively close to the asteroid, and then we can rebuild the gyro on it. Are any of them assert thrusters, or are they all regular? So I know these guys pirate assert as well. No, mm, it's all just hydrogen thrusters. Okay. Because it could be worthwhile just um, scrapping the jump drive and then selling this thing. Unless we want to stick it on the outside as a warning. Scrap the jump Later, drive, leave it burning. the bodies of our enemies. Yeah, just stick it out there and stick some turrets on it. Oh, there are some data pads in here. In one of the lockers. Huh? Yeah. Just figured I'd try and get those uh, data pads before we lose them. Add them to your library. Hmm. I thought my library got removed. Uh, the, the library itself has been removed, but the books haven't. Your library will get replaced. We have library 2.0. We are going to have an Argus Confidential Communique and a Confidential Argus Report. The ARC, That's just one in Argus. French and one in... A confidential. Oh. They must be Argus something. ARC. Argus... Arc Argus. Well, no, no, no. Our brothers on the Deimos have dealt a fatal blow to one of their ships, but were driven off by the arrival of the large, eye-searing purple ship. How rude. Many of our other brothers have arrived from other endeavours to aid in finally returning them to the hands of their ancestors where they belong. 
Anaxis Jason, we believe we have discovered where the Pankataratos, leader of the Assert clan, sources their drives. Just a few more of their ships and we believe we'll, we'll have located which of the planets in this grasson of a system. Your brother in service, Orpheus. I mean, I guessing from context what some of these words mean? Uh, they try to triangulate the position of where the assert thrusters come from. Yeah, they they think that they've found the source of the, well, at least the assert the assert drives around here, and it's on a planet. Hey, who needs gyroscopes? I've made it inside the. <laughs> yeah, well done. Uh, I can just leave it here. I was gonna build a landing gear on it, boy. Oh yeah. I haven't seen a narwhal before. What? In a certain narwhal. Hmm. I presume it's got a big frontal horn. Like a jousting thing. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like a, a fat sea unicorn. That's uh, certainly a description. <laughs> Is it wrong though? Uh, probably not. But isn't that more like a manatee? Yeah, but imagine the manatee turned into a unicorn. Right. Just that fighter that's just drifting out there. Yeah, should we um, see if we can bring it back, I guess? We'll just, we will absorb the attackers into our sh collections. <laughs> uh, where are you, TV? Uh, you should be able to see me. Ah! Can you see Climb me, to the though? the ceiling, yes. Like 50 meters away. Look what I got. Um. Uh... Capac designed that ship. Looks very ribbed. This is the Clio. Yeah. This is, these are the drones the that were fighting us. Yeah. Judging by the um, cab you've attached to the wing. Well, yeah. That's... Cabs easily fit in your inventory. That, that makes me... That's like a sidecar, but the sidecar is the one doing the driving. <laughs> yeah. This has a lot of that's uranium nice. on board. It has 10 it per each small reactor that it's got. Oh. So if, if we have oh, a little... Good damaged armor. If we have a little grinder pit, we can so throw these in them. In it. So that's what the um we're on the other side's gonna end up being. Well Grinder pit under the sky, what could go wrong? The breach gets launched what into if, the underside. What if I put one in front of the where the welder is? Would that be alright? Oh well I could just um keep the outline of this floor but remove the middle bits. Okay, speaking of real weird, I think I've done a thing with the grinder pit, and I'm curious to see if it works. Uh, what have you done? Put some glass over the grinder pit to see if keeping stuff a little further away from the grinders would um, make it grind more caref more safely and not get flung around. Um, wait, how is the... it? Doesn't appear to does not appear to have worked. Wait, where's the glass not getting grinded? Because it's on the same grid as the grinders. Oh, they can't grind themselves. Correct. Did not know that. Whereas welders obviously can weld things on the same grid. Yeah. Wait, so that just, just means you can put like an armor panel cover over the top, theoretically, not that Could it do. Would, it it doesn't really help much, though. And also the glass appears to have gone. Or be letting me fall through somewhat. It's weird. Uh, some of it is taking a little bit of damage. No, it's still... Nope, the glass is all still there. Yeah, it's not stopping the flinging, though. The flinging of components. Which is what I was hoping it might do, but it, yeah, it doesn't. The low grav environment does make it not too bad though. It flings things at very low speed. Yeah. Well, I guess if they have high initial momentum, it takes longer for them to slow down. I just figured with this, it's got so many small reactors, it was going to be a real pain for us to do anything with it, so it made more mm. sense to grind it down and try and get that uranium. Yeah. Yeah, there's enough force that it's still flinging these pizzas around. I think this will be better as an actual pit, not just a floor. Build up the sides a little bit. Yeah. I don't know, at least funnel the bits that are flung back in. Yeah. Oh well, I'll just manually do this. I mean, it got most of it. It got some of it. I'll leave it running just in case it scares the bejesus out of Kafak, because that'll be funny. Yeah, well, it just somehow leaps off and just immediately falls into it. Yeah. Or he walks on the glass thinking that it's going to protect him, and it doesn't. <laughs> well, I sadly did not get much done on the Skywarp other than building a bunch of jump drives. But I built a bunch of jump drives. So, you know, that's something. Of course. You have orange written in green text. 
That's just to replace the frogs. And I felt like I still used my time wisely because I did manage to put out a bunch of extra turrets, some of which got destroyed, so they clearly distracted. Yeah, they sacrificed themselves to save yeah. the big ship. Well, that's what their role is. Those little turrets, mm. they're meant to be decoys. They're meant to be something that gets taken out so that other things that are more important don't. Like us. Well, like our ships. I don't think we're that important. What? Do you? <laughs> I value this copy of me greatly. <laughs> well, next time, I think, uh, first thing off, I'll head to the moon and grab some gold because I want to get those jump drives finished and need to get that jump drive out of the ship that we captured of arcs. And I presume you'll have some things you want to do. What were you working on other than your floor? Um, what was I work? I don't remember. <laughs> There's a lot well, of working on defenses and stuff. I guess TFE will do some more work on his floor. And maybe Capac will be back. So Hopefully. there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Bye.